Have you ever wanted to create your own stars and galaxy and universe? Well, today I'm going to show you how I do it in Photoshop. Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how I create a custom star brush. Something similar to this image here. Now it's a, it, it'll be a scattered star brush. Very easy to do. Uh, it's, it's just a matter of uh, adjusting a few of the uh, brush settings. And uh, so let's, let's go ahead and I'll show you how I do that. So firstly, we'll go up to brush settings and then we'll go into window and go into brushes just so we have these two uh, menus open here. So we want to use this hard round brush here. So we're going to go to brush tip shape. Click on that and see the spacing here. Make sure that's cl clicked. Actually, can it be? Yeah. We'll click it on and we'll space it out like this. Uh, that's about right. And we'll go to shape Dyna dynamics and we'll adjust the size jitter. About 70, 60%, that's good. And we'll slightly adjust this so we spread the diameter a little. No, actually, no, I'll leave that. Angle jitter, no, we won't use that. That doesn't do anything. And we'll go to scattering. This is where we sort of get that random effect here. So we'll just adjust that all the way. And we'll adjust the kitten. No, that you can get, get get a bit carried away with that one. So we'll just keep it at one. And let's see what it looks like. And I'm just gently sort of brushing this on. Adjust the size a little. And it. It works pretty well. I mean, it's random and it's, you know, it looks like how stars would look. So that is about it. That's, it's as simple as that. And let's move that out. And you can put as many as you like on here. Do some big ones. Need like a huge one somewhere. There, there we go. And a couple more there. Shove a few more there. Little, uh, little baby stars in the distance. That's uh, a lot of stars there. Never mind. I mean, I don't really think it uh, matters too much. in the distance. You don't need to put on this many. And that's, that's it. It's easy as that. Oh, 
Let's give it a nice uh, background, dark background. And so I'm going to redo that. Actually, I'm going to put in a bit of uh, a bit of dust, star dust. I'm going to go up to uh, the brush mode and put it in as overlay, just to give it a bit of a colour. It's almost uh, like when you see pictures of the star dust. It almost looks like a cloud, but it's so like millions of stars or whatever, planets, what, whatever it is. I'll try to diff add a different color here. Go a nice bright blue. Still in overlay. Orange color. And now I'm gonna do the brush again. Simple, go to a hard brush, go into a brush tip shape again. Go to size, go to spacing. Change the size of, make it a little more variation of size. Uh, let's go to scattering and put it, yeah, put it all the way up again. And count, that's, you can go crazy with that, but it doesn't really look realistic that way. I think I'll just keep it at one. Yeah. Let's go to color dodge. Let's see how it looks. Now with that dark background. So now we're gonna save the preset here. Let's scatter this on. Yeah. Pretty good. Now let's save it, save it as new brush preset. And I'll just call it stars. Click okay. And then that's, a, that's how you do it. That's a star brush. Okay, so hopefully you got the gist. So right now I'm going to speed this up right till the end, just so you can see the process and see what I do very quickly. So it's about a 15 minute sketch, but I'm gonna speed it up to about three minutes, just so I can skip to the end.